Okay, so this uh, video tutorial screencast is going to be on how to subscribe to a blog, and I'm going to use my blog, bewebcentral.com, as an example. So one of the frequently asked questions that I receive by people who uh, get emails that I send them about different jokes and things um, is that they like it, but they're, they would like to know if they can get updates automatically when, uh, when new items are posted. So the answer is yes and it's through something called RSS, Really Simple Syndication Subscription. Now, uh, what this allows you to do is easily add to your own personal home page uh, or, or reader uh, or even your email listings um, the different content that gets added and it will include the videos and the description and the text uh, and everything that you see that I would post that you may normally get sent in an email. However, this way you'll get all of the things that uh, are posted on a wide variety of topics um, regardless of uh, the type of information uh, whether it be a joke or a different uh, business article or a video screencast like this to teach you how to do something on the computer okay so what we're gonna look for is this uh, this yellow icon here or that's not yellow <laughs> this orange icon here uh, obviously I'm colorblind um, it's not always the same color but you look for it on the website and it's called the RSS subscription icon so if we go to my website as an example and I will go to it now www.bewebcentral.com and then slash blog to see the actual blog items and you'll see the icon right in this area here okay now what you can do is you can click on that icon and see it says click to subscribe to get notifications of updates and when you click on that icon um, it might appear a bit differently depending on whether you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever your web browser may be um, but as an example you will see these options subscribe using Google subscribe using Yahoo subscribe using blog lines um, and you can pick one of those options to subscribe the other way to do it is to look for these little icons that sometimes you'll see that say add to Google or add to my Yahoo. They basically work the same way only they're sort of shortcut the way of doing that. On my blog you can see them over on currently on the uh, right hand side of the page uh, over here and I have lots of different ones your Yahoo, uh, Google if you use NewsGator. So these are all little uh, web programs that allow you to take the content and put it on your page. So for example, if you were to choose Add to Google, you usually will get two options. And it will ask you, do you want to add to the Google your personalized Google homepage or the Google Reader? So the difference is this. Your personalized Google homepage is a nice page that may already be your current main page uh, that opens up when you open up your browser. And if you add to the Google homepage, it will put it down somewhere on the screen um, with the various different articles. And you can click and expand and read them and see what it says and decide if you want to go in and view that item that's on my site. Uh, the Google Reader is more like a, a typical email program that you might see um, and here it lists all the different types of uh, web pages that I subscribe to um, including my own as an example. Now one of the advantages of using the Google Reader is that when you are viewing a page um, you'll actually get the images or the graphics embedded in the page so the Google the Google main page doesn't show you that it'll just show you this text down at the bottom and then you can click on it and see the video but if you use a reader you actually don't even have to go to the main page itself you can just go into your Google reader see the video watch the video if you were to choose my Yahoo just to show you an example um, and this is uh, my Yahoo Canada this might look differently from a different if you're in a different part of the world um, but when you choose add to my Yahoo again it just puts the content on your page just like you might see uh, any other type of content that might be on your customized page so that basically ends how this works um, it's it's a big advantage to be able to use uh, this type of subscription method uh, it, it saves on having to send you know a bunch of emails to all the different people that subscribe and showing them the little bit of information um, it allows you to get all of the full information that's posted of uh, jokes humor uh, tips on how to use your computer better business tips uh, anything that I find interesting that I post you will immediately know it now if you do like to subscribe 
uh, and get the full information by email, you can do that. Again, on the on the right hand side of the page, you will see a subscribe by email link right under subscription options. You can click on that link, and this is a very safe, spam free way of doing it. I uh, handled by Feedburner. You put your email address in there, uh, and then you type the the letters that you see at the bottom and hit complete and you'll get an email asking you to confirm that this is okay and again then when pages are updated you will get it as emails um, but again you can use either method whichever method you're most comfortable with and uh, I hope you find this useful have a great day